Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today. So, I had a bunch of people asking me about the new Windows Media Player and how to make the multiple clips into one, which I've shown before, but a lot of people are upgrading to the new one and they are saying they don't know how to use the new one. So, I'm going to just quickly show you a tutorial on how to do it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is get your Windows Movie Maker and click on it. And then we'll go right from the beginning here. As you can see, it says you can click to browse video files, blah, blah, blah. All you're going to do is shrink it. That's the best way. Now, get your two files. Um, see, I know which ones I've recorded first, so I know which is going to be the first section because of the number. So I want this to be first in my lineup. So I'm going to drag it here. As you can see, there's a little clock on it, and that's because it's going to slowly process and get uploaded into the program. Next thing I'm going to be doing is taking the second section which is not that one because that would double add the section uh, the 20 right here is going to be the, my next section it's easier if you just line them up for yourself I was just doing this really quickly so like I said I just dragged drop the first section then the second section grab dragged and dropped and then you'll see it's in this order and it's going to be uploaded in that way now let's see if I can show you this but the next thing you're gonna to want to do is click up there you're gonna to want to click the edit when you click edit you're gonna see trim tool now I can't trim right now because it's all being uploaded into the program usually doesn't take too long so we will see in a second how long it takes as you can see it's showing it right here it shows you file one of two and stuff like that I've just waiting for that to quickly upload there. Um, editing with it is actually quite easy, uh, but this is how you would make multiples. And then all you do is, when you click Trim Tool, it's gonna give you a side marker here, and a side marker here. What you can do is, if you've got a section, say right here, it takes you like 30 seconds before you actually start talking, then yeah. So here, we've got the first file done right here. I'm going to try show you the trim. So you click Trim Tool. And see, we've got these two side bracers now. Let's say I'm going to take a while to talk. Hey guys, so... See, I took about almost a whole second. You can remove that just by dragging it here. And then, of course, play it from there. Hey guys, so... See that now I've done it too early. So I start talking about 180. So let's cut this at 150. Hey guys, so Boom, instantaneous. So it helps when you're splitting them, just like that. So let's say trim tool again. I know that this is the second half. I'm so I'm gonna be showing you how to dab. Now the thing is, is as you can see here. So that's me showing people how to dab. And this is the first one where I'm showing that. So the transition will be good. You can always go to where you know the transition is and select it. Again, after you've done, see how it says save trim? You'll just press save and it'll be saved up in the computer. And then when it comes to actually making the movie, you can press this save button and you can either save the project or you press the down arrow right up there say publish movie or actually you know what I don't usually do that I just say save movie and I save it for a high definition display after you do that it's gonna ask you for a name put your name or put the name of the video in there and then just upload it to YouTube it's either that or you can try uploading it right from the program I usually like to do it separately afterwards but yeah that's how you trim and how you make multiple videos into one I uh, hope that helped you out with the new version of Windows Media here or Windows Movie Maker. If you have any questions, be sure to post in the comment section below. Again, this isn't a sophisticated one like other ones. Um, I guess it's the best way to do it. And there's a lot more things that you can do with this for effects. But I just wanted to keep it nice and simple for those of you who are just trying to edit multiple videos into one. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Press like if the video helped you out. And press subscribe if you're interested in other videos that I do. Alright, thanks again. Peace.